How's everyone doing? I am the Ginger Beard Man, and we have the grab bag of horror. We got the Midnight Bus. I have never played this before. As always, I try to grab the games that I have never played before to see what they are all about, rather they be short, rather they be long. Either way, I'm just looking to get the crap scared out of me, because that's the whole point of why I play horror games, is because I want to see if I can find something that's going to scare the crap out of me. But this game, The Midnight Bus, I don't see how it could. I mean, I'm on a bus. I mean, what what could all go wrong in a banana bus? Anyway, let's get in on it. See what I'm dealing with. See what's going to go on here in this bus. At 12.06 a.m. Damn, I'm beat. It was a fucked up double shift, and all I want to do is crash in my bed when I get home. So here I go on the midnight bus. The driver took some backcountry route. Feels like it's going to be a long ride. Main roads are all jammed up with snow, so I'm crossing my fingers that this jalopy doesn't blow up. <laughs> I'm feeling extremely fatigued and worn out at the moment. It is 1.33 a.m. Fuck, what happened? Where the hell is everyone? So. Hello, is anyone there? Where the fuck is the driver? We take control of the wheel. What a piece of junk. It's a miracle there's still light here. All right. Hello? We need help. Doesn't seem to work, of course. Why would it work? We get out of here? Where are we? Upper Canada? Greenland? What the hell was that? Oh, don't tell me we're dealing with some damn Wendigo or something. Could be dangerous. Oh, I can't go anymore. Well, we're stuck here in this little spot. Well, what are we supposed to... Uh-oh, look. There's blood on the door or something. Maybe there's something... I freeze. I think I should close the door. Well, where's the freaking... Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Don't these buses normally have some kind of like arm contraption thing where you grab it and pull it towards you as a driver to open the door or something? Or is that just like school buses only kind of thing? I've like never been on like a transit kind of bus, so I don't even know. Where the hell am I? Maybe looking through the windows I can get an idea. Or like... Right there. Can you crouch? Is there a crouch button to this fucking game? Where's the crouch at? Hey. Hold on. There we go. Look. Um, yes. I think it says. Bullmore City. Okay. 
Okay, so we know the city. What is that? Hello? Hello? Open up. I'm freezing my nuts off. That sucks. Geez, you scared the crap out of me. Who are you? When I snapped out, there wasn't a soul in sight. Does it matter? Open up and we'll talk inside. Are you the bus driver? What were you doing out there? Can't you see? We're stuck. Something's wrong with the radio. I was looking for help. Where are the other passengers? Why all the questions? You gonna let me in for what? Bub, I don't know if you're a serial killer or not. Why would I let you in the bus? You could freeze for all I care. The heck was that? Something's like it's coming from the, up the butt. What the hell? This is some damn skinwalker or something. The fucker's crawling all over the bus. What the hell was that? Must have been a trick of the light. Yeah, that's it. I'm so damn tired. I'm seeing things. Jeez, I'm freezing. Okay, nothing's popping up to piss with this stuff anymore. Hey man, do you copy? Over. Never mind. Do you hear me? Over. Hello? Where are you, man? You're late. There's a snowstorm coming and you're the only one on the road. Will you hurry up? We already want to close the station. Hello, can you hear me? I need help. I'm stuck on this bus. George got to be the driver, right? There's the thing, man. I don't know. I think I fell asleep on the bus for a moment. I woke up. This jalopy was crashing. The driver's gone. He is as if he's dead, you know. He's not going to give his shit. <laughs> Are you alone? No, other passengers with you? no, it's just me, or so I think. I don't know, mate. There's something lurking there. Help me out, okay. please. Okay, calm down a bit. Maybe the situation has clouded your mind. Can you pinpoint where you're at? Do you see anything you can recognize? Yes, I've seen an old sign. I think it says Walmart City. Walmart City? What the hell are you doing there? I would like to know. Oh, come on, damn it. Oh, jeez. Hey, bub. What the hell is that? Definitely something out there. I'm not crazy. So this thing wrecked the bus? So what's from stopping it from opening up these doors? Like, can't you just open them up by hand? I mean, the bus has crashed. I mean, oh, there he is. Hello? Damn.
that thing gone. And this is um, supposedly uh, these devs' first game, first horror game. So, get back at it again. Open up. Let me in. Listen, Wendingo man. What do you want? How do I know you're legit? <laughs> Said the radio was busted, but I was able to communicate with someone at the station. You don't understand. I just need you to let me in to see if we can fix this thing and get out of here. If you could have done it before, why did you leave? Like I, said, I was trying to find help. Can you open up already? No. You are the driver, right? What did the guy on the radio say? What is your name? Got time for this. What's up with that guy? My head's killing me. I need a sec to get my head straight. I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm not opening up that door. If he can't even tell me his name, he's nuts. Probably that Wendingo thing or whatever it is out there. But yeah, these are, uh, this dev's first game. This is it right here. I would say that the atmosphere is pretty on point so far. I would say that definitely. This looks like a horror game. <laughs> no shit. What the hell? I can't move. He crawled right through the window. Hey, buddy, do you copy? Over. Do you hear me? Over. It was just a fucking nightmare, but it seems surreal. Watch. I have this funny feeling in the end you're going to find out you're the killer. Yes, man, I am listening. Help is on the way. Phew, that's a load off. Thanks, man. what we're looking for a dude with a flashlight outside damn how long should I wait how long should you wait like I'd be scared just to get out Is it real or is it just my head? I need to get out of here. I'm going crazy. Where is that damn signal? Is that right there? That must be the help. I think I should go to the door. That door don't work. Hurry up. Hurry up. How do you know where I... No. There's no way in hell I'm going out of here. No. We don't even know if there were things out there still. What's happening? Well, that thing probably ate him. 
I'll go on a limb. Hey, Bob. Can you get on the radio and tell him that his friend got ate by the Wendigo thing out there? <laughs> Chewing meat. He's eating him alive. Would prefer you scared lamb meat doesn't taste good. This cannot be happening. What have I done? It's my fault. I'm a coward. Am I going to die here? Really? Hello, hello, help. Damn. Is it real or is my mind playing tricks on me? No, I definitely heard it. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I have nowhere to go. I can only hold on to that hope. If it's true, I hope they don't take long. I don't want to be anyone's dinner. Standing up, time will not pass faster. Really? I just need a moment. He just needs a moment. Don't worry, guys. He just needs a moment. Howard or not, I'm still alive. Damn night seems endless. 3.06 a.m. So exhausted. What could happen next on the midnight bus? Help has finally arrived. I want to get out of here now. Stop right there. Okay. We're the forest rangers. Got a call for help. Are you Hank? Know who's Hank? Driver? I think something happened to him. What do you mean? Hold up. Hands where I can see them. Dude, you gotta listen. We need to go now. Hey, man. Take a leak quick. Need backup. Take a leak. <laughs> don't move. Something is out there. Huh. I don't see anything. Damn. What the fuck? Oh my god. OMG, I told you. We're fucked. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go on a limb and say the Wendigo ate us all alive. <laughs> Okay. Well, that is it. Well, I can see why they call it the midnight bus. There is a bus, and it is at midnight when it starts. So, I mean, yeah, that's why it's called the midnight bus. <laughs> uh, it wasn't scary at all. Um, at least the story made sense for what we've seen. The atmosphere was there. If this game was to be longer... And there was more to it. Um, I think it would get like a higher rating in that. But just for what it is right now, I would put it around like a five. 
Um, it definitely needs more horror to it. Um, I think he had the dev had something going with the whole black creature, white eyes, you know, crawling around the bus and staring at you from different moments and that the jump scare you. Um, if there would have been a lot more of that, it probably would have been a lot freakier, like him coming out from under the uh, chairs or something, looking at you or something. Um, there's so much more you could have done there. Uh, Story-wise, you could have made longer. Everything you could have made longer, but for the little bit that was done and the, the details and that, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. But overall, I don't think it was that bad. You know, for the most part, it wasn't that bad. So, it was all right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Hit the bell so you know where the other videos come out here on the channel. As I do mostly horror here on the channel. Uh, playthroughs and uh, updating on different multiplayer games. And we'll see what's next on the grab bag of the horror. You all have a good rest of your day. And I'm out of here.